Welcome to the Generation Elevation Podcast, a conscious, connected platform for those who are ready to manifest their dream life. I'm your host, Elise Riley, a former PT, now motivational speaker, igniting empowerment and transformation all across the globe. Here at Generation Elevation, we are committed to bringing you the most inspiring guests who will share their stories, wisdom, and advice to help you progress closer to living a life of your own terms. What is up, everyone? Today, I am joining you in the beautiful city of London. That's right. I am here. I have settled in and it's officially my one week anniversary here in this beautiful city. Now, it is a magnificent day. I'm currently just sitting out on the balcony of my beautiful apartment and it is so sunny. It is a slight breeze, beautiful temperature, and I just wanted to bring you all out here with me in the elements today. I'm going to give you a little taste of London, right? Now, in my podcast Facebook group, I put up a poll asking you guys, what do you want to hear from me? What would you like me to share on? What topics? What are you needing help with? What are you needing support with right now? And a lot of you voted for how to make friends easily. And a London update. So I thought I'd tie these two topics in together because this is something that I've come across many times in my life whereby I moved to the Gold Coast by myself from Melbourne two years ago and I didn't know anybody. And when I left for the UK a week ago, I had this beautiful reflection where I looked back or became aware of how big of a mark I actually left on the Gold Coast and how many people I did make friends with and meet. And it was really beautiful and heartwarming to know this. So I'm experiencing this right now. I'm obviously in a new country, totally different culture. And so I want to share with you how I am going to be going about making new friends and how I communicate with other people in my experience easily, even if I don't actually know them. I don't actually have to have someone with me to then be introduced. I can just introduce myself. And I am super excited that I get to share that gift with you today. Before I do get into it, if you're new here, I just wanted to say hello and welcome to my podcast. I appreciate you all, whether you have been listening long term or you, this is your first episode. I just wanted to say thanks so much for tuning in and supporting my show. Make sure you are subscribed, whether you're listening on iTunes or Spotify. And if you really love this episode, make sure to share this on your story so that other people can also become a part of this community too. Like I said as well, I do have a podcast Facebook group and you can access via the link in the show notes. Now, London. Oh my gosh, weather is absolutely turning it on for me. And that's why I'm sitting out here in my balcony. I was like, I've never done a podcast really outside. So I'm going to do my best to crop out like the background noise so it's not like taking over. Um, but bear with me because I did, I really wanted to give you that London experience uh, and what I'm experiencing here right now over the other side of the world um, or in your territory. If you are from London, you're listening to this. Now, how to make friends easily. This is something that I, like I said, have really learned. In the past, I used to believe that I was shy. I would tell myself all the time, I'm so shy, I'm so shy, I'm so shy. I don't have enough confidence. I'm not confident enough to dance. I need alcohol to be able to get to that level to then feel myself and feel confident enough. And that is what I used to believe. Now, here's the thing. I have not had alcohol probably in about a year The past three or four festivals I've been to, I've been completely sober. Like, not that I was a huge drinker anyway, but I used to just drink to get smashed so then I would feel some level of confidence. And it's really empowering now to be able to go out 
socially and everyone could have a drink in their hand and not feel that anxiety of needing to have something in my hand um, because that's a thing. Like if you resonate with this, please DM me, please comment on my reels or whatever. If you also resonate with that little bit of anxiety or nervousness, if you don't have a drink in your hand and everyone else does, it's such a culture and I know it's a huge culture apparently here in London. So I haven't discovered that yet, but I will keep you posted. So how did I get to this level of confidence? Well, something that a friend once told me, actually it was Cooper Chapman who I have had here on my podcast. So if you haven't listened to that episode, definitely go back and listen to that one. He mentioned to me when he speaks on stages to young kids in schools, teaching them about gratitude, he shared with me that fear is something that you're going to experience when you're trying something new, when you're out of your comfort zone, when you are putting yourself out there. And the key to having confidence is to feel the fear and do it anyway because the confidence comes later. The confidence comes with practice. The confidence comes from taking the action and doing the thing. So if you're wanting to be confident enough to go out there and do whatever it is you want to do, make friends, find a lover, be the best version of yourself, max out your performance and your potential, then the action comes first and all the rest of it comes later. It's the reason why I'm able to do what I do to travel to London, to create this podcast, to go make friends out there because I've had practice. I remember the first time that I went up to someone in the Gold Coast and commented maybe on their gym clothes and I was so nervous. However, it turned into a beautiful conversation and then I would have made friends from that. So first tip to making friends is to just walk when you're walking wherever you're going, just like focus or practice smiling at people. I noticed, especially when I was living in the Macedon Ranges, winter days you know everyone is being affected or being at effect of the weather right and they're looking down at their feet when they're crossing strangers in the street they're not really looking up at people and I was finding that I was also doing this until one day I looked up when I'd go for walks I would look up at the people that I was walking past and I would give them a smile I'd give them a smile and then when I got more confident and after practicing that over time, I would look up at people, I would smile and I'd say, good morning or good afternoon, g'day, hey, how are ya? And let that go, keep practicing that, keep practicing that, keep practicing that. And eventually then it comes into, hey, how are ya? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Oh, yeah, good, thanks. Oh, sunny day or shitty day or whatever the next thing that rolls off the tip of your tongue whatever that is oh the amount of times that I've gone I'm good which is like a mix between great and good because I've been so nervous I've just wanted to as a word vomit don't worry you're not alone and I've totally been there so my first tip if you want to write some notes you're like okay I'm going to make some friends this week. I'm going to meet some new people. Maybe you're just wanting to change up your friendship group. Maybe you've seen that person in the gym, that guy or girl in the gym and you're like, I really want to talk to them. And you just haven't built up the courage to talk to them yet. Then this is, this is my tips. Okay. So writing down, smiling, focus on smiling more. How many people can you smile at today? Honestly, when people smile back at me, it really makes my day. You could literally make someone's day by smiling at them. So where can you smile in life more? That would be my first point. Step two, point two, would be once you practice smiling at people and looking up at people when you're walking past them, when you're practicing that eye contact with others, maybe saying, hey, how are you? Good day. Good morning. Good afternoon. Just practicing that. Super simple. You've got those three, four examples there. Hey, how are you? G'day, good afternoon, good morning. Nice day, isn't it? Like whatever comes through to you, whatever feels comfortable to you, that would be point two. Point three would be the response. Like when someone says, hey, how are you? And you say, good, thanks, how are you? And they say, good, thank you. Then the next thing is a little bit more challenging if you haven't done this before but it's like creating conversation. Like, oh, if you're in the gym, what are you training today? 
oh, you're looking amazing. Oh, I love your outfit. Or it could be if you're down the street. Oh, such a beautiful day today. Oh, how are you coping with the weather today? Or I love your outfit. That's the one I use very often. Where are you heading? If you're in line at a cafe, oh, what are you ordering? Do you, would you recommend anything? Where are you from? These I'm um, just totally not noting anything down here. I'm totally off whimming these examples because this is literally what I do and I embody this. So you kind of just like if you noted those down, if you're in a cafe, oh, what should you order? What do you recommend? I always ask the waiter, what do you recommend? How long have you worked here? Do you love it? Like, oh, you, you guys are such a great couple. How long have you been together? I hope you're having an amazing day in the gym. What protein powder do you use? Do you recommend any exercises? What's your favorite exercise? What's your favorite body part to train? How often do you train? There's so many little conversation starters. And here ties into my fourth tip that I just literally made up on the spot right now. It is to be interested rather than focusing on being interesting. People don't really care about about what's going on for you, especially if they don't know you. So how can you just be interested in other people? If you're wanting to make friends, be interested in them. Get to know them. What makes that person that person? What makes them happy? What makes them sad? What are they passionate about? And really focus and practice being interested. Now, you could do this within your relationships currently with people that you already know whereby you practice being interested and you might be surprised at the level of conversation and the depth that it then forms between the two of you and you may even find that you connect and you become even closer all just from practicing being interested rather than interesting okay it's like when a car guy or someone that's really passionate, probably Elise Riley on the Generation Elevation podcast, right? Super passionate about mindset, super passionate about cars for the car guy. You're probably going to sit here, listen to the podcast, listen to the car guy, and you're like, oh my God, yeah, mindset. Oh my God, yeah, cars. Because that person is so passionate about what they're talking about, they're not trying to be interesting. But because they're interested in what they're talking about and because they're passionate, automatically the people around them are then interested. Obviously, I am so passionate about what I speak about here on the podcast that rather than trying to be interesting and talk about, oh my God, today I did X, Y, and Z and this is all of my things that are going on uh, for the rest of my day. I went to the gym and, and I can talk about that. But at the end of the day, what I find really awesome and what I'm really interested in is how I can help you make more friends and go out there and have the best day and potentially make someone else's day. So freaking cool. So that would be my fourth point. Be interested. Now I wanted to tie this in for like how I've made friends up here. I've literally made two friends. A security guard asked me, hey, how are you? And I said, good, thanks. How are you? And he's like, good, thanks. Are you enjoying the museum? I said, yes. How long have you worked here for? And that sparked a whole conversation. I had someone film for me in the gym. And then I just said, thank you so much. Like, how long have you trained here? Do you love it here? And then we became friends. So that would be my tips for, like my practical tips for making friends. And I know I'm going to be fine. I'm in the gym. I've got that community now. So I literally... Once you make eye contact with me in the gym, we're friends. <laughs> You're stuck. There's no hurting. Yeah, you can't you can't stop me talking, that's for sure, especially when I'm passionate about the topic, like mindset. <laughs> the second piece of what I wanted to speak about today is what I've been talking about with a lot of my one-on-one clients behind the scenes, and it definitely ties into making friends, and that is... If you're wanting to attract your person, your soul tribe, these relationships that are uplifting and are going to help you grow and expand, how can you do that if you're not showing up, if you're not shining your light, if you're not being your authentic self? Through life, there are many of us that are conditioned through society, our parents, our friends, school, whereby 
the things that people say then become the beliefs we have about ourselves and they can either limit us or liberate us and most of the time these conditions limit us and so like I said earlier I used to believe I was shy I'm so shy I'm so shy I'm not confident enough and because I had that belief I then avoided taking the action or trying anything new to maybe realize that deep down all along I've never been shy and actually I've just been playing small so I encourage you to reflect on where are you playing small because if you're wanting to have a party right you're going to send out the invite of course you are how are people going to expect to know you've got a party happening if you're not telling people about it How do you expect to attract more clients? How do you expect to attract in a lover? How do you expect to attract more friends if you're not telling people what you want? Okay? So that's the first thing. What do you want in a friend? What do you want in a lover? What do you want in your ideal client? What do you want in a coach? What do you want in your teammates? The second thing, when you have a party, right, people know the time, the address, right, they're going to come in their Uber looking for what? the lights, the music, and the people. So if you're not shining your light, if you're not making noise, how do it, how does anyone know that you are having a party? The people that you invited, yeah, sure, they're going to come, but they're going to wait and sit in their car and look around and be like, where the hell is this party at? And maybe you do have your lights on. Maybe you do have the bass pumping, ready ready for everyone to come in. But the third thing people are going to look for is the people, the people going into the party. If there's no one going in, the others that are waiting outside most likely are going to be waiting to see if anyone else is also going in the party because they don't want to go in alone, Right? And the people usually come when you keep showing up. The people usually come when you keep playing that bass. The people usually come when time goes by and you keep doing the reps. So if you are not shining your light, making noise and doing the reps, how do you expect to make those friends, to attract that lover, to attract those soul connections into your life, those dream clients, those dream opportunities If you are not sharing your truth, sharing your light and being that energy that will attract in what you want, in order to manifest or attract in or create your dream reality, you need to embody that version of you now. The gap between who you want to be and who you are now Once you merge that, that is when the manifestation happens. So to recap, to make friends, super, super simple. Smile more. Say hello. Be interested. Reply back. Maybe comment on someone's clothes. That's something that I would always do is just see an awesome chick in the gym wearing really cool gym clothes and I'd be like oh I really love your leggings where are they from and I'd be genuine and that is when I'd make amazing friends from that and then something to reflect on is if you're not shining your light if you're not showing up and if you're not speaking your message to this world how do you expect your people to find you so that my friends (laughs) is what I wanted to speak about today if you have any questions about this If you would like any support, you are so welcome to message me on Instagram. I have settled in here in London and I'm looking for podcast guests to do in person. So if you know anybody, DM them to me on Instagram as well. For the next week, I will be showing up, shining my light and doing my thing as always Because by doing the opposite, I do all the other people that are looking for someone like me to show them, to support them, to help them, I do all of those people a disservice. 
And so I encourage you to also reflect on when you do not show up as the best version of you, how many other people out there are you doing a disservice to as well? As soon as I realized that, I asked myself, well, how dare I play small when I could be playing big and helping so many more people? I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my show. Go out there, make some amazing soul connections and friends and i cannot wait to hear how you go thank you for being a part of the generation elevation community if you enjoyed today's episode make sure to leave a five star rating written review share and tag me on instagram at elise.riley until next time keep loving keep learning and keep rising